Here's the funniest war ever waged. The war that had to be lost to be won. Fine thing. The United States and the Grand Duchy of Fenwick are at war, and it takes the FBI to find out about it. The United States invaded by the smallest country in the world. Hey, see that big building? Well? Well, I saw it first. It's mine. The Mouse That Roared, the film that united the nations in roars of laughter. Starring an hilarious new personality, Peter Sellers, in three gloriously funny roles. Peter Sellers as the noble statesman. There isn't a more profitable undertaking for any country than to declare war on the United States and to be defeated. Peter Sellers as the fearless leader. Men of Fenwick, when you hear the name of Grand Fenwick, do your hearts swell with pride? Yes! And if your country calls, will you rush to enlist? No! Oh. Peter Sellers as the Grand Duchess. Do give my love to your president, will you? And Mrs. Coolidge, too. See this man of many parts and the woman in his life who opens her arms to this lovesick, seasick man of war. You can turn around right now and kiss me if you want to. Really? Really. Oh. Oh. Meanwhile, back in Grand Fenwick, the happy citizens prepare to welcome the victorious American army. But little do they know the tragic truth. Well, Your Grace, I know it'll come as a surprise, a pleasant one, I hope, but we sort of won. Sort of what? We guarantee that this is the funniest motion picture ever to come out of the Duchy of Grand Fenway. You read about the big splash it made in the Saturday Evening Post. Here's what some of the world's keenest and most objective minds have said about The Mouse That Roared.